Now I want to bring in Greg Campy, the longest tenured coach in D1. How about that? It just means I'm old as dirt, right? Well, Jim Beheim retired. <laughs> coach K is out of there. So in the graphic, you're number one. Yeah, How many I, years? Uh, I'll be starting number 40. 40. 40, yeah. That's so. amazing. Yeah. Now, I know you wish your team were in this tournament, and we're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> but for now, I want you to talk about this bracket that you have in front of you. You guys, you filled it out. We're going to put on click on Detroit.com. But first, I want to talk about those Spartans. Tom Izzo has been saying they can make a run. Do you believe him? Absolutely. I think they got a great draw. I think if you could pick your uh, region to be in, you would want to be in the East. I think by far it's got the, the easiest path to get to a Final Four, and Purdue is the number one seed who they, they know very well, and they're due to beat Purdue if they get to play them. So, yeah, I really like their, their bracket. Okay, so they play um, USC on Friday, first in their conference for a defensive field goal percentage. So what does that mean to you? Well, they, they, they're really good around the basket. They, they block shots. Uh, they affect shots. But that's good for Michigan State because they don't score a lot around the basket. They, they're, they're really, what's going to make their run is their guard play. Um, Walker and Hogart are top-notch players. They're battle-tested. They're tournament-tested. And it's been said for year after year after year, you win in the NCAA tournament with guard play. Right. And Michigan State's got great guard play. He doesn't have anybody who's left the first weekend, though. But you think this could be it? They could beat Marquette if they got there? Oh, yeah. I, I, I would. In my mind, they'd be a favorite over Marquette. Now, I know the people in the Big East wouldn't want to hear that, but Tom Izzo in a tournament, in a defensive-oriented game, and then Marquette is a, a complete opposite. If they play Marquette, it's a, they're a running gun, score 90 points, uh, and he knows how to shut that down. So I, I really like their draw. Okay. Do you anything else you want to talk about on the East, or should we move on? Well, my sleepers in the East, we can talk about that later. I can do it. Duke. Sleeper. I, I, if Duke is a sleeper. If they I, can be. Yeah, I really do. I think this is, they're, they're got a guy back that's been injured. They're big. They're young, but they're not young on the perimeter as much as they are inside. Their they're big freshmen are really good. They've played a whole season now. They're in the, the East, which is, as I said, I think the I easiest bet, yeah. of the brackets. Okay. And so if anybody could come out of that, I think it would be Duke. All right, let's go to the South. What do you think? I think Bama is, uh, you know, they're, they're so long, they're so athletic, they're, they, they play both ends of the court probably. If you would say who's your best offensive team in the country, they would be in the conversation. And if you said who's the best defensive team in the country, they'd be in the conversation uh, because of their length and their size and they offensive rebound. They offensive rebound like, you know, vintage Izzo teams. Mm -hmm. And that's a hard, hard thing to beat in tournament play. What else do you have from this side? And then we'll break and talk about the right. Yeah, I think as an upset, I think Charleston over San Diego State. I just think Charleston's got 31 wins. They're way better than people that the average person that doesn't really know, know mid-major basketball would think. They're a team that can win. I think that... Uh, Utah State is a team that could upset someone. I've got them winning their first round game. You like Creighton. And Creighton. Creighton was top five team in the country to preseason. They've got a seven footer who got hurt. He's been in and out of the lineup. When he's in and playing, they make a run. I, I think that at the beginning of the year, everybody thought Creighton was final four possible. And I do think they can win some games, at least get to the sweet 16. All right, he's got Bama coming out of the South region. So let's take a break right now. More with Coach. We're going to do the right side of the bracket. Coming up on SFE. Expect more from your morning. Get up and go with Local 4 News. When you wake up, we'll get you caught up so you can get out of the door with the information that you need. Going beyond the headline and getting you the full story. How it impacts you, your family, your community. And your day. Pesky rain or cold temps. Expect more accurate forecasts with forewarned weather so you'll be ready. Plus, time saver traffic. To get you where you need to go on time. Local 4 News, everything you need to get up and go. You should make Figer Law your first call. Our seasoned attorneys understand the hardships and the challenges of being in an auto accident. Figer Law. We are an army of one. One goal. One mindset. Justice for you. Whoa! DraftKings, look at all these blackjack games. You got Spanish 21, vacation blackjack, touchdown blackjack. What is this? Some big old Vegas buffet where you're putting the waffles next to the crab legs, deciding what dessert you want for breakfast? Well, guess what? Smack me in the mouth with all of it. I want it all. New players can download the DraftKings Casino app and get a deposit match up to $100 in casino credit. 
Action so good. Why play anywhere else? Somebody bring me the cream puffs. It's Allstate Home Leisure's Big Factory Outdoor Furniture Event. Our largest outdoor furniture sale of the year. Shop now and save up to 50% on over $10 million of in-stock outdoor furniture and all custom orders. Plus, 18 months interest-free financing only at Allstate Home Leisure by Watson's. Hi, I'm Florine Mark, back with motivational stories for healthy living. All new Ask Florine. Watch Ask Florine Mondays during Local 4 News at 6 p.m. Hurry into Twins Auto Sales during the tax season sales event going on now. We'll get you in the vehicle you need, guaranteed. Everyone is approved at Twins Auto Sales. Walk in and drive out today. Don't miss the Twins Auto Sales tax season sales event. A car hit by a truck doesn't stand a chance, and neither will you unless you call the right lawyer. At Figer Law, we take on that responsibility every day. Figer Law. We are an army of one. Back with Coach Campy. Now, for all of you who are filling out brackets just like this or online or whatever, you have a little tip. Well, I think this year... If you really focus on the 8-9 games, I think the 8-9 games are almost unpickable. And so the person that gets the four 8-9 games right, right will probably have a huge advantage on everybody else in their pool. So I, I, those games I'd really focus on. Obviously, you've got to pick the upset, you know, the 4-12, the, 5-13 uh, four, four, right. games. You've got to pick that upset. Uh, I just think I said that wrong, but whatever. A lot of people. We got it. Yeah, we have to yeah. win that game. Okay, so let's focus on the Midwest. What do you see out of there? Well, the Midwest, yeah, the top one. Yeah. It's all going to depend on Sasser, the Houston guard that pulled a growing today or yesterday, and then he didn't play today. If he'd have played today, I'd have felt a little bit better about it. But those injuries, that injury on a guard whose speed and strength is so important. That's not and one there's that, no quick fix. Right, there's, right. That's one that doesn't heal quick. You got exactly what I was going to say. So how he comes back is going to determine it. I just believe they're, they're so tough defensively in that. Memphis played out of their mind today. I've got them going to the Elite Eight, but I have Texas beating them. All right, Texas um, out of the Midwest. Yes, I got Texas out of the Midwest. Okay, let's go to the West. And you like Kansas a whole lot. Well, there's only three teams that have won the NCAA tournament back to back in the last 50 years. I think it's going to be four at the end of the year. Oh, wow. I really, okay. I, I, you know, Where's uh, Devin Skillian? Yep. He's uh, happy. Is he? Okay. <laughs> he went uh, you know, Bill has is, Bill is got out of the hospital today. If he can't coach, then I have a, I'm have taking it. all this back. Okay. But I believe he's going to coach, and maybe not this week, but I think he'll be there in another week. Um, and if he's there, they're going to win. That, that, I think they're. They're the most battle-tested team in the yeah. tournament. The only team that I would say that could also be a surprise out of there is Gonzaga. And I know Wojo and everybody hates Gonzaga. And they say they don't play anybody. But this year, they're kind of in the background this year. They had a good year. Yeah. But they're kind of in the background. There's no pressure on them. And nobody's looking at them saying they're going to win. And Drew Timmy is as good a player as there is in the country. And they're a team that could just all of a sudden you're looking at the Final Four. And how'd Gonzaga get there? Right. Gonzaga. Gonzaga. <laughs> well, I say Zaga. Zags. But anyway, um, could this be a year when, you know, all these Big Ten teams go out quickly? I hope not, obviously, but. I've got a lot of them losing. Yeah, I, I, I you know, everybody, all the experts say that, you know, the, uh, the Big uh, 12 and the uh, SEC were the two strongest conferences, yeah. and, and they're probably right. Um, the Big Ten. I mean, those teams are still really good, and any any one of those teams could make a run. I, I think Penn State could make a run. Well, funny story, if you haven't heard it, I had you on, you filled out a bracket, we put it on Click on Detroit, and a lady contacted us that year and said, Greg Campy made me a lot of money. And I would say, from watching our show, I also helped. So we're you gonna did put help. this on Click on Detroit, in case you want to follow along. Greg, I appreciate you as always. And I could have had you on to talk about the players because you played TC TPC Sawgrass, didn't you? I did. You yeah. tweeted out a video of you and you hit the green on 17? So, well, that was like a, uh, you know, uh, what is that, a bucket list moment to yeah. play that hole. And I hit it. Uh, it's only 139 yards and yeah. I hit a great shot. <laughs> I was the only guy in the foursome. I'm playing with three players oh, that I were, saw way, the video they were way better than me. And I hit it to about seven feet. And I wanted to make birdie so bad. I my next putt back was about. That was my feet. question. Did you make the putt? No, I and I made I made bogey. I, I three putted from seven. Feet. I wanted to make it so bad. So that's bad. the difference between you and Scotty Scheffler. Oh uh, 
Yeah, I think yeah, that's the That's difference. the one reason. All right, Greg <laughs> Campy, I appreciate you as always. Thank you. Stick with us on Sports Final Edition.